Um, so yeah, I'm here in the kitchen. I need to get all the breakfast dishes cleaned up. I had eggs, the kids had pancakes, and Shane had steel cut oats. And so there's a lot of stuff here. Um, I also need to do lots of laundry because I'm out of clothes. Um, I haven't been keeping up on the laundry lately. And here's the thing that I really realized about myself is that if there's a hiccup somewhere along the way in my daily routines, uh, I won't do those routines. For instance, in front of my washer and dryer, I've got a whole bunch of donations that need to be gone, and we actually start to do those today. Um, and because there's a whole pile of stuff in front of my washer and dryer, I haven't been going in there. Also, we are like inundated with mosquitoes. Like they are everywhere. I'm looking at one right now. And because our dogs come in and out of the garage and because everybody is in and out of the house through the back door um all day long the mosquitoes keep coming in my house no matter how quickly you open and shut the door they're just hanging out at all of the windows and doors and so they're flooding my house and when i like when anyone opens the laundry room door the mosquitoes infiltrate my home and so i don't want to go out in my laundry room i know that's a stupid excuse, but these are the things that have prevented me from doing my laundry. So I need to get all of that done. Um, we're doing a Costco run today. I'm not sure if Shane's just going to do it. I don't really feel like going into town, but we'll see. So anyways, that's a little peek at my day so far. <sighs> this is the type of day where I just want to sit on my butt and do nothing, but that's not a wise choice. So. I thought I would vlog, kind of motivate myself, hang out with you for a little bit. So I guess let's go. So this is what the kitchen is looking like. All the pans for all the separate breakfasts. Some coffee. There was a pile of pancakes on this plate that I'd hoped to like pack up and put in the freezer or the fridge for later this week and there's only one left because little people come along and snag them um there's more dishes there some garbage and all of these that need put away and I did a grocery haul yesterday and I've got to put this stuff away and this is garbage and that's recycling so <sighs> hello so today's been a bit of a wash. Uh, it's about 4.40 at this point, and I haven't done much with my day. Um, I haven't really done anything of significance or importance, uh, except to put that load of laundry in. Um, Aubrey has done some school, so that's a win. Um, Shane did dog training today. He's going to go to Costco later tonight, I think. Um, it's just been one of those days. It feels kind of like a bit of summer like lazy summer but it doesn't quite feel like summer it's actually kind of quite cool today here hey friends i am here at my desk um i'm having a little bit of lunch and i'm sitting at my computer uh i am going through all of the books that our library has on order and i'm looking for any good picture books for my kiddos to read um we have several different libraries that are all connected together and you can borrow from each individual library and have them all sent to your main library branch. Um, I think there's, I don't know, like maybe eight different libraries. Um, and the one that we are at, I, we have like really went through a lot of the books, um, exhausted a lot of them because we go to the library so much. Um, anyway, so there's a portion on their website where you can see all of the new books that are being uh introduced to the library or that are on order so i'm just going through and i am placing holds for later doesn't mean i'm like requesting them now but for later um with our upcoming homeschool i've come across several books that i think would re really be great for some of the science units that we're doing so um, i have set those aside and anyways while i'm just having lunch i thought i would go ahead and just flip through a bit more I also am going to order another Erin Condren planner. Um, I'm going to get the Deluxe Monthly Planner because I have something to tell you guys. 
but I need a planner for something and I'll tell you later in this video. So here's my lunch for today. I'm just having some cheese slices and some of these sausage balls that I made the other night. They're so good. And a dish of strawberries. Okay, so I'm in the same spot. But believe it or not, I've gotten up and walked around and done other things. Um, but I've come back here because I am going to sit down and work on my summer binder. So I shared this... I don't know if it was last year or the year before um i will do a walkthrough i'm thinking but my summer binder just basically holds all of the summer things so there are um like our guides for the library reading program um it's got um, some walking trail maps it's got like a summer guide to our city like all the happenings going on um just anything that was applicable to summer. There's note pages, there's camp packing lists. Um, I was finding that I was just keeping that stuff everywhere and it was getting lost inevitably. So I put it all in a binder, uh, I don't know if it was last year or the year before, and that's where it lives. And so I pulled it out the other day because I've been thinking a lot about summer. Um, it started when I was asked uh, from my friend, I was asked by my friend Janine to participate in this uh, tag video, a summer tag video. And as I was watching her video, I realized, oh my gosh, I don't really have anything planned for summer. We don't have really anything that we're kind of planning on doing. Um, our days honestly really look quite similar uh, to the summer, honestly. Um, we're going to be doing some homeschool throughout the summer. Um... That was a school bus that just went by. Um, and yeah, we just, I don't know, we just don't have a lot planned. Um, but I don't want my kids to miss out either. So I think I'm going to um, write down some ideas that I have. I might um, find like a fun, few fun things for us to do. I'm not a really routine person. Um, I was listening to a podcast today from Homemakers by Choice. It's actually Modern Homemakers now, but it was all about kids and summer. And she gave like tons of ideas of things to do with your kids. Um, and she also kind of suggested like you could have different themes for the days. I'm just not that person. Um, I know that I would not be able to stick with something like that, even if it was just like one day a week. I'd like to, so who knows? We'll see. We'll see what goes through my my little mind as I'm sitting here planning some things out. Um, so that's when I'm up to. The kids, Aubrey did some school, um, and then I let her have some computer time, um, and Colt uh, wanted some computer time too, so they are both kind of doing some educational games. Um, Shane's at the vet with the puppies. Uh, he's going to come home, and we might run to the store. I really want to get a couple things for tomorrow. So, uh, tomorrow is, I, I go away. <laughs> um, so, I got a job, um, and it's super duper exciting. Um, so I was asked to be the children's ministry assistant, um, at our church. Our children's pastor is incredible. She's so amazing. Um, during the summer, they run a huge day camp, like huge, and it's all summer long. Um, we don't do things like VBS here. Uh, they have the day camp, and the day camp runs pretty much all summer long. Um, and so she will be heading that up, and then she also has some other big projects, and she's becoming a grandma for the first time. So I was asked to step in to run Sunday mornings for her so that she could have that day off, kind of have the weekends off to just be with her new grandbaby and have some downtime because no one can work seven days a week. So um, I'm in the midst of training right now and um, Tuesdays I go to staff meeting and I have my in-office days and um, Sunday is, you know, the big shebang. So I get to the church a couple hours before it starts. Um, I'm just still in training right now, um, but I've had to, you know, learn how um, our whole sign-in process works. Like, it's all electronic. Our church is large. We're about, like, 500 people. 
So my camera died. I completely lost where I was. Um, basically, uh, Sundays I am uh, taking care of everything from the infant nursery, which starts at six months old, all the way up to kids ministry, which, or kids church, which is 12 years old. Um, and I'll be planning the lesson for um, the kids that are like five to 12. Um, it's whole, it's basically like a mini church service for kids. Like there's worship and a lesson and um, yeah. So uh, it's a lot to learn. Like I'm learning like how to do the sound, all about the like electronic sign-in system and everything. So it's a lot, um, but it, I'm really excited about it. Yesterday um, I got my computer. So I, uh, I will be using a Mac, which is like totally different for me. Um, I'm a PC girl, uh, only because I couldn't afford a Mac. <laughs> um, someday I would love a Mac, especially as I'm like now using it. So the kids are using my computer, so I'm just going to use um, my work computer to look up some summer fun stuff for the kiddos. So this is my computer. Um, I set the background with uh, something from Laura Casey. So you all know I love Laura Casey. If you go onto her website and search for uh, computer backgrounds or phone backgrounds, she's got a ton of them on there, and this is the one that I thought just looked really nice on my computer. Um, I've got my binder here, and I'm going to go ahead and just start getting some summer thoughts out of my head and onto paper. <laughs> Are you going to miss the butterflies? Yeah. So we're going to let our butterflies go. We have painted lady butterflies. Um, we have five of them. They are very successful in raising our little friends. Um, so what we did for Habitat was we actually just bought one of these uh, hampers from the dollar store. This was actually four dollars. It wasn't a dollar. Um, and we tied the handles at the top and we just draped this cloth over to keep them from getting out. Um, the little lid down there has some orange Gatorade. Our um, school supply store where we got the butterflies suggested that we uh, give them Gatorade. So here's one right here. I know it's a little hard to see, but the butterfly habitats here were around $35 just for the container. Um, so we went this route and it worked really well. So we're gonna let them out and then um, say goodbye. Yeah, since you are pupas. Or larvas, pupas. Well, since they were caterpillars. Yeah. Okay, are we ready? Yeah. All right, Bye. let's take them outside. I am here in Aubrey's room. Um, we are sort of in the process of kind of, I'd say redoing her room, but I don't feel like it's ever been fully finished. Um, we have moved some nightstands that were in her room, out of her room, into our bedroom. And um, we moved one of the nightstands into her room. However, it's black and Aubrey's furniture is all white, so I need to paint it. Uh, so that's what I'm going to do today. We also have a bookshelf for her. Little Chica is a ferocious reader. Um, if you let me read a chapter book, I'm pretty much done in like three hours. Yeah, she reads like super quick. So um, we have a bookshelf that actually came with our house. Uh, years and years and years ago, but it's it's wood color, and while that would look 
nice maybe somewhere it's not gonna look great in her room because again everything is all white so I'm going to chalk paint it um I have I bought chalk paint sorry about that um I am forever forgetting to clean out my SD card and so when I go to vlog I fill up whatever space is there really quickly then I have to delete a bunch of stuff and I just always forget anyways I was talking about homemade chalk paint I have a video here on my channel that has a lot of views on it about how to make homemade chalk paint and I chalk painted Aubrey's bed with that homemade chalk paint our kitchen chairs our kitchen table well dining table whatever um, another piece it's really great stuff uh, I just didn't have the paint and things to make homemade chalk paint so I bought it I have went through a few different commercial brands of chalk paint and I'm not a big fan of a few of them uh, like Rust-Oleum I have not had good success with Rust-Oleum at all um, I know that's a pretty popular brand but I find it doesn't last um, it doesn't cover well it's not that great to me um, and I've used I've tried it on a few things uh, anyway so I like this Art Minds brand from Michaels um, the coverage is wonderful it lasts so well um we did our headboard in this i've done like a bookshelf um i don't know it's really good that's my daughter the coverage is really nice anyways i am going to be chalk I'm painting cleaning. today i'm cleaning my barbie house <laughs> For the last two days, it was not clean, I forgot. Yeah, so Aubrey's actually been staying in Colt's room because we are just trying to get some things done in her room, but we're moving her back in tonight, so I really want to get this stuff all finished, painted. Um, I'm in my painting clothes. When she came out of the bathroom today, I thought, what is she doing in those clothes? Yeah. Um, yeah, hair dye, paint, all the things. So I'm going to get started painting when you're chalk painting you just want to lightly wipe off your piece with a damp cloth that's what this is um and chalk paint dries very quickly so i anticipate this will be kind of dried and stuff um for tonight so and there's no odor to it too which is really nice so you're not messing with like paint fumes so anyways i'm gonna get going on this piece of furniture i am also going to listen to some podcasts while i am painting um this is i was listening to lazy genius but there weren't any episodes um i wanted to listen to so i am listening to the homeschool solutions podcast by pam barnhill if you know me at all i'm a huge fan of pam barnhill um and I've got lots of episodes to listen to here. I'm thinking I'll probably listen to um, Planning by Personality Type with Misty Winkler. And maybe um, How We Homeschool Without Grade Levels by Jamie Erickson. I subscribe to her blog. And yeah, there's a lot to listen to. So um, that's what I'm going to be doing while I am painting. So I'm a few minutes into the project here. Um, I went ahead and I wiped all of the dust out. That's really important. You want to get all of the dust so that it doesn't go into your paint. Um, one tip I wanted to leave you with is that what I do is I go ahead and I paint in the corners. Um, I haven't done this one too, too much. Um, so what I'll do is I'll paint the corner and then I'll paint like right along the side um, so that I can get into the cracks well. Um, I'll probably have to do, uh, I'll definitely do at least two coats, um, but so far it's covering really well. Um, that second coat will help take out a lot of the paint uh, marks, and I just use a regular paintbrush. There are paintbrushes specific for chalk paint. Um, I don't have one, and I've never had a need for one. I just use a regular paintbrush. So anyways, we're just a teeny tiny bit into the paint, and it's covering really nice so it's way later in the day it's about two o'clock I was working a lot <laughs> uh, and that is one hand and this is the other I'm not an, a, an, a good painter by any means um, so I'll show you the bookcase um it still needs to dry. I did take the shelves out um, and like down here I was a little way too impatient and it also needs another coat or two. This back panel is 
not real wood and the paint was really soaking up so I'm gonna <clears throat> be done with it for now I did go ahead and do the night a nightstand as well um, and then I'll just get more paint and refinish it at another point when it's fully dried and I'm able to um, put a nice even coat part of the problem is I'm just really impatient and I just wanted it done I've been working at this for a couple of hours um, and I just wanted it done so um, anyways I'm gonna go and try and clean some of this paint off of me and get out of my painting clothes um, we are gonna Aubrey's been staying in Colt's room we are gonna try to and move her back here in her room tonight but I'm just not sure her room kind of really needs cleaned um, she had some plants in the windowsill and the plants had fallen and there's dirt on the floor um, I found like a spot on her mattress that needs to be cleaned um, just the whole room needs gone through um, so I don't know I've kind of told her I said well I'm not sure if tonight will be the night that you're back in your room plus I would like these pieces to dry so that I can actually get stuff on the shelves um, and get her room started to be pulled together. We have decorated in here, but it's never been fully finished, fully completed. Um, it just never has gotten up to that point. I feel awful about that. Um, so now I'm, I'm trying to get that done and that's what I'm working on. And guys, I'm really excited because today I should be having an Erin Condren order show up. It's supposed to be here today. I'm really hoping that it happens. I'm going to check the FedEx um, link to see if it's coming. I ordered uh, a planner for my church work. Um, and I think that once I'm done at the church, I'll just transition it to a YouTube um, content kind of planner. Um, it's just the deluxe monthly planner. Um, I just... You know I'm a planner girl. It's just it's just the way of it. Uh, and I just definitely wanted to have something that was separate from my home planning stuff and my church planning stuff because they are so very opposite and specific. Um, I just wanted a place. And I actually added um, lots of extra notebook pages as well so I can use it for meetings and brainstorming and things like that. I really needed a good calendar portion um and wanted to throw in lots of notebook pages uh and i ordered some stickers for my teacher planner i'd forgotten to order them on like launch week for the teacher planner um they're gonna go in my headers uh so i ordered those as well and a couple other little things so that should be coming today i hope i'm gonna check the tracking so my air condon order came um, I thought I just would share with you what I got so first was this sticky note set so this snaps right into your planner um, I don't know if you can see the teeth on it but that snaps right in I've always loved this little sticky note set um, I particularly love the mid-century circles pattern that's one of my favorites and this watercolor dots I have a notebook in that um, I also have a notepad with these like page asterisks in it um, and I absolutely love this thing um, and so what I'm gonna do is just snap this into my planner so that I've got these sticky notes always ready to go for little notes and thoughts and things like that yeah so we've got that I also got another one of these little sticky note sets I have one of these for at home but I also thought I'd have one I wanted one um, in my desk drawer I need sticky notes all the time y'all I am a sticky note fiend like here's my desk drawer I just stuck that in there for now but um these are all my sticky notes like I've got See, there's the one Erin Condren one. I've got piles of them. I love sticky notes. Um, I've got page flags. I want more sticky notes here. I've got little tab ones here. I just, I'm a sticky note person. So um, I figured I would just get those for my desk. I also got, I don't even know if I even saw that they had these. These are the jumbo circle stickers. Like, 
uh, I was just tooling around on the website and happened to see these and I thought these would be really perfect to highlight specific dates um, or to put notes in my planner. So I'll explain the planner in a second, but um, I'm going to be using it for like our meetings and stuff. Um, and I thought these would be good to highlight specific things. I also got a pack of the dual tip markers. So if you caught one of my planner hauls before, I have a three pack, three packs of these. Um, and I actually own all of these colors, I think. I may not have the green ones, actually. Um, but I do have all of these other colors. However, I wanted this pack just so that I could stick it in my desk and not have to worry about bringing it home to use in my planners and for here at home. I like to use these markers a lot um, when I'm writing notes and things. So it was just the idea of having these just all separate um, for my church work. And it did come with yeah, just the enjoy sticker. And then this is the um, Hello Sunshine postcard. I've actually got this happy everything right here. I need to tidy off my desk a bit, but that's that. And then so the planner, I can't remember if I was telling you about this or not, but sorry, I'm just moving things. This is my planner. So this is the deluxe monthly planner. This was just released shortly, a little while ago. I have one of these from before and all it is, is it's a notebook. Um, sorry, it's a monthly calendar with notebooking pages in it. And you have the option to add more notebooking pages. You can get them with um, like dot grid, where it's just all like little dots. You can get lined, you can get unlined. Uh, I think that's, it's either unlined or graph paper. I can't remember. Um, but I'm a lined person through and through. So I just thought I'd show you this really quick. Um, I got the 8.5 by 11 size because I have large handwriting and your girlfriend likes to write a lot. I am surrounded by notebooks. I love to write notebooks. Um, I got my name and then this verse, it's um, Jesus talking to the disciples and he says, uh, let not the little children uh, come to, or let the little children come to me and hinder them not for such the kingdom of heaven belongs to such as these. Um, I kind of botched that up a little bit, but that's, that's basically it. Um, and I have always wanted this cover. This is the watercolor world cover. This is what the back looks like. And I love it. I've always wanted it. I just didn't really have a specific reason for it. And now I do. And the awesome thing is, is our church has become like a really multicultural church. Um, we have 150 new families from war-torn countries, uh, from places like Africa. Um, and not everyone has a hard story, but there are some really, really tragic stories um, coming from some of these families. And they're arriving here, um, some have nothing, absolutely nothing, like sleeping on the floor kind of thing. Um, and it's changed the face of our children's ministry and it's changing the face of our church in a beautiful and wonderful, awesome way. Um, and it's exciting to be a part of that. We have been moving towards a missional mindset for a long time and it's we're just really awesome to have these families within our church. Um, and so I wanted to have this as a visual reminder of who we're serving, um, of people all over the world. It's not just Canada. It's not just North America. It's a global focus. And, um, so I love that actually on the front cover here is Africa and I am able to you know, just keep that in the focus, in the forefront of my mind. So it's just like a typical Erin Condren planner. It has the whiteboard on the front where you can write whatever with your wet erase markers. You don't want to use dry because it will transfer. Um, I won't go through the whole thing, but I'll just give you a quick little peek. Um, it does have the calendar portion pages. Now I'm only scheduled to work to the church till September. Um, and afterwards, I guess I'll probably just transfer this to be like a content planner for YouTube, um, which is the awesome thing about these covers is that they are replaceable and I do have other covers already and I have one that does say Sweetly Home on it. So, um, new beginning, ha! Ah, new mindset, new focus, new start, new intentions, and new results. So those are, um, you could use these for month, like monthly planning 
or you could use them for really whatever goals whatever you feel like and then there's a note page here and then of course they've always got the awesome quotes and things and so this starts in July and you've got this like blank kind of paper here like the dashboard you've got a section for birthdays which is kind of really nice um, I'm hoping to implement something for birthdays for our kids um, this is the dot grid page paper that I was telling you about it's like all these little dots I'm not a huge fan of that sort of thing I just prefer lines but I know some people really love dot grids and then you've got an area for monthly goals and then you've got just this blank area and then this is the month portion and I did get the colorful uh, planner when I get my life planner, my life planner goes till the end of December, I'm going to get the neutral layout, but I loved the colorful for my kids' ministry stuff. You got a section for notes, and then you've got some line pages, and I think there's one, two, three, four, I think there's five, yeah, five. And then you head into your other month. So there is no like weekly planning pages. This is just a monthly sort of thing with the exact same layout all throughout with the five pages following. Um, and then you have, like I said, the option to add notes pages. And that's what I did. Um, this is your looking ahead calendar. Um, so here's the note pages and I actually added an additional 80 note pages. I think it comes with 10. I could be wrong or 25. I don't even know. Maybe I'll put it on the screen if I figure it out. Um, but I ordered an additional 80 note pages because I'll be in church meetings, like staff meetings, and then just to plan out like the kids' services and to write down different things about sign-in. Um, there's lots of procedures that I need to learn and know, like how to troubleshoot like our um, ministry tracking software for when kids check in and check out, and um, just different like fire procedures and all the different things. Um, I don't like that stuff to live in my head. I'd rather have it out on paper. So I wanted lots of notes, <laughs> note paper. Then it comes with two sheets of stickers. And there is a folder, really nice folder. And then a, this is your back cover and it's unlined for your thing. Um, and I wanted to just, this is not Erin Condren, but I wanted to show you, I picked this up at Chapters the other night. Um, and can we just get like a visual of how fun that is together? So this is a file folder set. Um, it was on sale and I think it was actually cheaper than this too. I think it was like actually $9. Um, but I loved it again. It's the world and Africa is just like really prominent right there. Um, and yeah, it just, it, they go together and it's to hold, yes, it was $9. Um, it holds files and things. So I'll put this at my desk. So, and then this is not, this is, um, more homeschool related, but this is something I got for my teacher planner. I meant, I think I talked about this earlier. I'm sorry if I'm repeating. I meant to order these, uh, labels uh, when they did the launch, but I forgot completely. So I tacked them onto this order. So basically this, these will peel off and they will go in the header of my teacher planner so that every week I'm not writing all of these things out, like our language art. So I'm not designating what each column is. My handwriting just, it doesn't look good. And I would just much rather have something as simple as this, um, to be able to label my columns. So what I did was I kind of did like a rainbow pattern here. Um, to be perfectly honest, I pulled up the Emily Lay uh, Happy Stripe because that's like my favorite. And I sort of played off of this with Happy Stripe. I've got Navy back here. So my columns are language arts. And then, so that's the like bolded um, top. And then underneath I have good and the beautiful so that I know that is my language arts. Um, math, teaching textbooks, we have science, All we have all our units from the good and the beautiful. History is the good and the beautiful, and then for kindergarten I did ABCs and 1, 2, 3s. Um, I ordered three sheets of this because the, there's only 10, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, yeah. Only 10 weeks represented here, so I did go ahead and order um, a couple extra sheets. 
And then, because there are seven columns in your teacher planner, there are only five, five listed here, or is there six? I don't remember. I don't remember. I think it's seven. I don't remember. And my teacher planner is not nearby. Anyways, I made a whole other set of stickers. So this is, I'm going to just probably switch these up as I see fit. Um, but this is considerations, notes to myself. And then I have one for curious wonder, keep on discovering. Uh, morning basket, wisdom and wonder. More learning, diving deeper. And next week, prep and plan and prepare. So some of these I won't use every week or I will use them in like my notes pages like they don't just have to sit you know on the particular column so and I'd also thought so for our science and history we alternate these during the week so like Tuesday Thursday will be science and Monday Wednesday Friday will be history or flip-flop those kind of things um so I'm thinking that I may just have one column um and I'll do like science on the one block and then history on the second block science and then history so it's just kind of all in a row like that I'm thinking I might do that um so then I can add a couple other of these columns so we'll see how it all works out uh, I still have to set up my teacher planner I don't need it for a little bit longer but I wanted to get those ordered and they look so pretty like they just look so pretty I'm oh so happy so in keeping with the rainbow theme um, I picked up this little page flag at Michael's the other day um, it was in a three pack they are recollections brand and um, I just opened it. I had wanted this particular page flag. They had one before, it was a lot longer. Um, it was this like happy stripe type from, that's like a knockoff of Emily Lay. Um, I opened this up and I'm so glad I only paid $1.77 for these because these are not metal, it's cardboard and there's like magnets on the inside. So not very durable by any stretch of the imagination, but it's cute and it goes with my rainbow theme. So there's that. Um, I did go ahead and put my sticky notes in. I did put my information here, so I'm going to cover that up. But I got those in there and I put my labels in the back cover as well. So I'm getting all moved in here. So I keep setting things up and, think, and I decided to show you. So I did have this pouch. Uh, this is an Erin Condren pouch. They used to always come coil clipped or they used to always come clipped into the planners. But a couple years ago, they just started selling them separately. For a while, they included them with your planner. And I don't think they do anymore. I could be wrong. It's been a while. It's been about a half a year or so since I've ordered um, a planner life planner um anyways but what you can do with these is you can coil clip these into your planner so basically a coil clip is like a little toothed piece of plastic that will clip right in here um and it's sticky on one side so it will stick to paper or it'll stick to something like this and then you can clip things in and out of your planner so whatever you want really um i think i might do that with this because i i I put my labels in here, my, my new stickers. Um, I think I'm going to go ahead and stick this in there. Um, and I may add like a couple other little things like stickers and stuff inside of this. It'll keep it from slipping out of the pocket. The pocket I prefer maybe just to use as papers that I need. Um, I also have a couple little notes that I think I'm going to stick in here as well. So that'll be another part of the process of setting this up. But um, I just wanted to show you that. So I keep this little box in the drawer here on my desk and I keep a lot of like extra planning supplies in here. So these are some smaller coil clips. Um, I do have a large one. Where did it go? I'm not sure. Um, but these are just some planner things that I'm not using. So these are sticky pockets. So this can stick on the pocket of your planner and you can stick papers and stuff in. I did pull out this ruler. Um, I think I'm going to put that in here as well. I've got more stickers, um, more various stickers and little things like that. 
um, lots of postcards from Erin Condren throughout the years. Um, I've got some uh, elastic, band, elastic bands that go around your planner. I've got one of these little things, like a notepad. I've got um, postcards from, what do you call it, uh, Laura Casey. I pulled this stuff out too. This is for my teacher planner, but this is my pen loop. This is also for the teacher planner. I haven't set my planner up yet. This is just a notebook that I was going to use, but I decided not to. And where did that, oh, there it is. This is the large coil clip that I will clip onto that. So anyways, I just have all of this stuff tucked into this little, this little bin here and it stays in my desk. Okay, last update with my planner. So I did go through that little box and I pulled out some of these postcards and I'm gonna stick them inside of the pocket here. I added some enjoy labels. Um, so that way I just have some encouraging notes always on hand and I can give them out. Um, I mean, who knows if I'll use them, but may as well get them kind of in with my stuff so that if I do need them, they're there. And so that is how it looks. And this coil clip is really strong. It's really strong. And the nice thing is that you can pull this out when you're writing if it's like a little too lumpy bumpy. And there we go. I'm all set up. And I'm just stick these on here. And then I'm ready to go. Well, major change of plans. Uh, Shane called and said, are you ready to have some fun tonight? And I'm like, what do you mean? And he was like, well, we can see, I'm going to see my mama watch the kids. We can go out for dinner and um, go see a movie. So that's what we're going to do. Um, I saw paint on my fingers. I'm trying to get it off. Uh, so I just powdered my face a little bit, put on some gloss, changed my clothes, and tried to tame my hair a little bit. I was like... Really look all that cute today but when your husband calls and wants to take you out on a date you do the dang thing <laughs> so anyways I'm gonna let it go uh, let this vlog go for now I think I've got a lot of footage to wade through um, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video bye <laughs>